Good morning, everybody. Tom Wright here from Wright Blade Works. Um, nice to see you again. Well, not really nice to post something again. You know the drill. It's like uh, barstool sports. Um, I make them. I post them. Give me your comments. Hey, you know, ask me questions. I don't really care. Whatever. I have fun doing this, and uh, many of you have fun seeing them. Um, just as a starter, I um, want to thank everybody for a wonderful show at Atlanta Blade Show. That was awesome. Got to meet some really cool people. I was actually surprised how many people knew who I was and knew my work. That was somewhat shocking. Um, I won't say I was kind of a celebrity there, but there were quite a few people who were aware of what I do, even though it's on a very limited basis. And it was really, really great to meet some wonderful bladesmiths, uh, pick up some really cool materials, learn a few things along the way, um, get in some nice heated arguments, have a few beers, the whole nine yards. Anyway... Um, so this is our newest little project. Uh, this just got finished last night and, uh, I got a rush to do a video on this cause I have to ship this out today, or at least I promised to. This newest one we call Tusk. As you know, each of my knives is unique and individual. I don't copy them. I won't remake them. So they each get a unique name. Um, this one is made for a friend of mine. We'll call him customer friend, whatever you want to call it. But uh, he's an old buddy. I've known the guy for a long time. And he is in a bike club up in New York. And he was looking for something that he could carry under his jacket while riding. And... Uh, he is of Scottish descent, and so originally I was thinking almost like a, a what's called a skin dew, which is a smaller Scottish knife. Um, it's usually worn in association with what's called a dirk, which is a larger one. Um, and I kind of ran with that idea and then modified a little bit. And this is what I ended up coming up with. So this one has got a tech lock system on it. Um, so it could be worn various different directions. I made a custom kydex sheath for it, which is, um, it almost looks like carbon fiber. I kind of like it. Um, but, uh, did this taco style. Um, I don't do much stuff in kydex, kind of new to it, but it's pretty fun stuff. Not that difficult to work with. Um, I like the results. Very, very durable. Bang. Opens up very easily. Um, so what we have here, I ended up doing a tanto style. Um, this is about uh, f about four and a quarter inches. Um, very hefty blade, shorter, but very, very, very well balanced. Um, this one is in Raindrop Damascus. If anybody says, hey, where'd you get that Damascus? I did not forge this. I have forged some in the past. I have limited forging um, capacity at my workshop. And I really like to leave that to the experts at this point. I have done it in the past. This one I did not do, and I'll be damned if I can remember where I got it. Um, I might have gotten it at one of the previous Blade shows. I might have gotten it on, I don't know. I have a lot of steel at my place, and this was a piece I had left, and it was a particularly nice pattern, and I kind of ran with it. Um, plus, it was the thickness I was looking for. I didn't want something too thick or too thin. This one is a little share over four millimeters. Um, so we have about four and a quarter inch uh, raindrop Damascus blade. It's hollow ground, razor sharp the way I like my knives. Uh, if I can't shave with them, I don't want to send it out. Um, the butt cap and um, blade guard on here are uh, from Baker Forge, some really nice guys. I buy a lot of steel from them, do a lot of work with their stuff. Great guys, met them at the show as well. Um, that's been uh, hardened. Um, so it's very durable. Then we have G10 and Mammoth Molar as spacers here. Some beautiful stabilized uh, Mammoth Molar that's a blue dye in it. We have a vintage uh, African Warthog Tusk handle. Super comfortable stuff. Very durable. Gets a really cool patina over time. Um, just awesome to hold. I mean, it feels good. I, as everybody knows, I'm a big fan of natural materials when I can use them. Um, I love horn. I love tusk. I like ivory too, although we don't use much of that anymore. I mean, this is a type of ivory, but this is legal. Um, you can get this. This piece is particularly old though. This one was, uh, ooh, this was from an old trophy that was uh, disassembled um, from South Africa. They had it on a wall and I think the, the thing rotted and they cut out the tusks and sent them to me. Um, but these were particularly good ones. I like it. It's got a really great feel to it. Um, and my logo is on the bottom here, as opposed to etched etching. Eh. Boy, did I have a trouble saying that? As opposed to etched etching, etching it. I'm having a tough time this morning on the blade because sometimes that doesn't come out so well in Damascus. It's hard to see. I ended up putting my logo, um, which is right here, um, and a lot of people know that's the same logo that's on my car. This is also tattooed on my back, so it's kind of permanently linked to me. Um, 
But anyway, and then on the side here, we have sterling silver shields on either side. That actually covers up one of the pins that holds the handle in place. And that reads Dulce Periculum, which is the insignia for the Scottish Highland Clan Macaulay, um, which this uh, fellow is associated with. So um, he let me run with this as far as design and what I want to do, which is great. I love when people give me a lot of latitude and say, I want this, I want this, I want this. I love being able to play with things a little bit and make it the way that the materials want to come out. Um, and this is really, I, I'm so happy with the way this came out. It's hefty yet, you know, easy to wield, um, sharp as hell, which a knife is supposed to be. I hate blade shaped objects. Knives are meant to cut. If you can't use them and you can't cut with them, then put them in a paperweight box. But anyway, I hope you guys like it. If you got any questions, concerns, you want to tell me I'm a schmuck, you want to tell me I'm a hell of a guy, you want to tell me, Jesus, man, you make some of the most beautiful knives I've ever seen. Hey, feel free to drop me a line. I will try and answer everything as quick as I possibly can. Uh, if you're interested in a custom order, you can also contact me um, at rightbladeworks at gmail.com or just through YouTube. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. Stay dry and safe wherever you are, and we will talk to you soon. Take care.